Three types of Brawl Star Explorers. Number one, the Trick Shotter. Hmm, what Brawl should I play today? Uh, 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 <laughs> Mortis, of course. Which game mode should I play? Hmm, hmm, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling some Brawl Ball. One of the benefits of being a Trick Shotter is being naturally good at Mortis. For example, watch me destroy this Nita. I bet she's never even had a triple bounce before. What a trash can. Oh my god, did you guys see that kill? I'm putting that one in the montage. I decided Mortis was boring because I'd already mastered him and decided to switch to Dynamite. Oh, you see that pro Dynamite jump boy? Putting that one in the montage. Oh, the dilemma that all Trick Shutters face. Should I use a generic NCS song? Or a sad, thought provoking song? Here's my final montage, guys. What does perfect even mean? Number two, the tryhard. My name is Cute Timmy. Love you, Sue Face Lightning Bolt Emoji. I have 12,033 wins, a 600 power play rank, and one time I beat pro players. So therefore, I'm the best player ever to play the game. I tell everyone that Showdown is no skill, but secretly, I got my only rank 30 in Showdown. <laughs> I only play with teams because randoms are trash. Triple counter? No problem for me, the best player in the game. Ugh, why aren't my teammates winning lane? Dude, my teammates are doing nothing. I'm literally having to 1v3 right now. Ugh, I can't believe we just lost that. I never lose. Bro, what the heck are you doing? Win Wayne, FFS. I bet this guy hasn't even seen the tier list for this meta. SMH. Number 3, the troll. Trophies are overrated. I find purpose in this game by spamming angry emojis at my teammates for no reason, as much as possible. I've been banned multiple times for own going, but I quit the game when they removed it. But I came back when they added Mapmaker to make the most cancerous maps humanly possible. Hmm, let's make a heist map. Let's see, let's see. Oh, oh, what is this? Standard? Get out of here. Remove now, this is more like it. And yeah, we'll make it so that you spawn on top of the opponent's safe. And, of course, spam down as many jump pads and teleporters as humanly possible. Ah! And there we go, we get 10 of my friends at my 6th grade lunch table to approve it, and we're golden. That is all I have today. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. This took me a long time to make. But if you didn't enjoy it, make sure to make sure to leave a like for reverse psychology. But anyway, I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!